intrauterine insemination IUIs, IVF which is right for you. Intrauterine insemination IUI and in vitro fertilization IVF are two of the most popular infertility treatments available. Today, understanding what they are, who they are intended for, and what the success rates are for these two options will give you a place to begin your conversations with your fertility expert. Here's what you need to know. IUI vs IVF What are the differences? Complexity IUI refers to one procedure. Prepared sperm is placed directly in the patient's uterus when she is ovulating in order to aid fertilization. IUI may be performed in sync with a woman's natural cycle or timed with fertility medications to stimulate ovulation. IVF, on the other hand, is a process which consists of several stages and requires more than one procedure. First the ovaries are stimulated using a series of fertility medications. Then the patient undergoes egg retrieval in a day procedure under a mild anesthetic. Then after embryos have been created and incubated in the lab, they are placed directly into her uterus in the embryo transfer procedure. Even with the use of fertility drugs, going through IUI is less physically demanding than undergoing IVF. Risk of multiples IUI with fertility medication carries a significant risk of multiple pregnancies, including higher order multiples, triplets or more. A good clinic will carefully monitor your follicles to make sure that only a safe number are mature before the IUI. But they cannot entirely eliminate the risk. Recent advances in IVF including blastocyst transfer mean that most modern fertility clinics now transfer only one or two embryos per IVF cycle. As a result, the risk of multiple pregnancies for IVF patients is much lower than it used to be. Success rates It is never easy to be specific about the success rates of a given treatment as there are so many variables that affect individual cases. But statistically, IUI has lower success rates than IVF, and the gap widens as women age. IUI with fertility medication Climate average success rates range from 8% to 15% per cycle for patients under 35 to 2% to 5% for patients over 40. IVF using a woman's own eggs Average success rates range from 40% to 45% for patients under 35 to 15% or less for women over. By Alice time the factor of time cuts both ways when you are weighing up these two options IUI is a much shorter process than IVF so if your first cycle is successful it could be the quickest route to bringing home a baby however because of the gap in success rates between the two treatments some patients in their late 30 to early 40 may get pregnant faster by going directly to IVF rather than waiting until they have had several failed IUI cycles. Cost An IUI cycle costs much less than an IVF cycle, and this is a serious consideration for many patients. However, depending on your diagnosis and your chances of conceiving through IUI, it may be more cost-effective to go directly to an IVF cycle rather than dealing with multiple failed IUI cycles before ultimately proceeding to IVF. IUI can be an excellent first line of treatment for many patients, depending on their circumstances and diagnosis. If you are a patient who has at least one unblocked fallopian tube is able to ovulate, Perhaps with the help of fertility medication has a healthy ovarian reserve which means a good amount of healthy eggs has a normal uterine cavity. IVF can be a better option for patients who are over the age of 38 have blocked fallopian tubes have reduced ovarian reserve decide to use donor eggs suffer from advanced endometriosis dealing with severe male factor infertility which may
require the use of advanced technologies such as intracytoplasmic sperm injection ICSC.